dreamt of performing in Red Shore City since I was a little kid. Guts, stamina, faith. These are the things you need now. What are you doing? Oh, I've been shaking. I love it when you go crazy. And baby, there's nothing holding me back. I knew you were a weirdo. Sing too. Anyone see Miss Crawley? Wake up! Wake up! Destination is on the right. Okay. Woolworths lost three and a half billion dollars today as shareholders flooded for the exit. The reason was simple enough. The CEO explained that the cost of COVID safety, things like rapid tests and isolation periods, will cut about a hundred million dollars from this year's profit. That weighed on the market, but overall, the ASX 200 finished steady, with Coles also lower, while Telstra and Medibank Private did well. The price of Bitcoin remains weaker. Another four percent lost today. It was sixty-six thousand US dollars a month ago. Now. 46,000. And to cap off a rough day, the Australian dollar is also weaker, buying 71 US cents, 63 euro cents, and 53 British pence. Thank you, Chris. Quick check of petrol now, and the average price for unleaded is around $1.68 a litre. For E10, it's $1.67. Here's Amber. We've enjoyed a gorgeous day in Sydney. Blue skies, sunshine and light southeasterly winds. Penrith was our warmest suburb, reaching a top of 29, 28 in Richmond and Campbelltown, 25 in Kellyville and Parramatta, 26 degrees in the city and 24 in Cronulla. It has been a warm and sunny day across inland New South Wales, reaching tops of 31 in Mudgee, Dubbo and Narrabri, cooler along the coast with a few clouds around 21 in Batemans Bay and in Wollongong. Tomorrow a high will keep New South Wales mostly settled and dry while tropical Tropical cyclone Ruby will move well away from the mainland. Over the next week, parts of Australia could hit 50 degrees with a very hot air mass sitting over the northwest, leading to extreme heat wave conditions over central and northern Australia. Let's take a look at tomorrow. Brisbane will be sunny in 31 degrees, a hot and sunny day on the way for Canberra before a late storm, heading for 30. A possible shower in Melbourne, 18 degrees. Sunshine for Adelaide and Perth, 28. And a very hot 40 on the way for Alice Springs. Some light showers expected across the southeast of the state tomorrow. The heaviest falls will be around the snowy mountains. The coast quite a bit warmer than we saw today, heading for 28 in Bega, Batemans Bay and in Newcastle, while inland areas will be hot, expecting 30 degrees in Bathurst, 35 in Dubbo and in Narrabri. Sydney will be sunny tomorrow morning, but there is a 60% chance of showers developing late afternoon as well as a possible storm with light to moderate northeasterly winds. If that rain arrives, it's likely to move in from around 5pm, 1 to 5 millimetres across coastal suburbs, a heavier 2 to 8 millimetres across our west. We are expecting the hottest day so far this month, heading for tops of 31 to 33 degrees right across our western suburbs, including Penrith, Liverpool and Campbelltown. 26 the top in Terry Hills, 28 in Gosford and in the city, a cooler 24 expected in Cronulla. Let's take a look ahead. A possible shower or two on Thursday, 24 degrees. Cloudy on Friday, 25 before a partly cloudy day on Saturday, warming up to a top of 30. Now, at this stage, we could see a shower or two on Sunday. Fine weather returning early next week. In our west, a shower or two on Thursday with a mild of 26 degrees, cloudy and 26 on Friday. It will warm up by 10 degrees on Saturday, on track for a very warm 36 under partly cloudy skies before showers on Sunday, reaching 27. Overnight lows will range from 15 tonight to 22 by the weekend, Georgie. Good on you, Amber. Thank you. And that is Nine News for this Tuesday. Layla McKinnon's up next with The Current Affair. I'm Georgie Gardner. Thanks for being with us. Good night. <laughs>